Okay, in this video, what we're gonna do is take a look at how to modify the label on a viewport in Revit. So right now I have a size A paper and I'm gonna be detailing out this foundation detail. Um, but what I see here is that I'm a little bit bothered by how large this title is and how it's configured for my viewport. So first off, if you wanna crop it, you click on the viewport edge and then you get a crop box here to slide that a little bit smaller if you'd like. If you only wanna move this, you don't click on the crop box, you can just drag this independently from your viewport. So once again, in order to crop the line here, you click on the crop box of the viewport, kind of the edge of it, and then you can slide that around. And then if you only wanna move the viewport, click on that and slide that around independently. All right, so I wanna make this text smaller. So here's what I do. I first go to file and then I go to open and we're gonna open the family of that viewport. So I'm gonna click on family. To get to the family file, it's under annotations. And then I scroll down and I find where it says view title. And the one for this one, let me get a little preview is uh, just view title. Um, the name on that, uh, I, this is one that I created in advance, but the name on it is just purely view title. So now with that, I'm gonna say open, and it's gonna open up the actual properties of that view title. In order to change it, you click on the view name, you go to edit type, much like other things you would edit in Revit, you would then go to uh, duplicate this. So I'm gonna duplicate it, and let's call it, uh, three sixteenths, actually no, that would make it larger. Right now it's at an eighth. So we could call it one sixteenth. Let's call it three thirty seconds just to get very fine detailed. So three thirty second, okay, label three thirty second. And then I'm gonna actually change the height of that text size to three thirty seconds of an inch, three slash thirty two, and then say okay. So now we have that at the new size. Now with this one, it's even easier. We're gonna just change that to label three thirty two. And I could crunch that up a little bit if I would like, or I can keep it in position. The one, if we're happy with its size, then leave it. Or if you want to change that, same thing, 332. And if we want to decrease the size of this, that should be by about 25%. So I can click on the scale tool, click on that circle. And um, actually, it's easier if we do a numerical to be more exact. So I'm going to click on those circles. I'm doing that with a cross selection box to hit both. And then uh, I'm going to go up to scale numerical. And we're going to do that by a 0.75. And then we have to click on a uh, center point to pivot that scale on. So then I just use my arrow keys to nudge that circle in position. And we want to save as family and I'm going to name this thing uh, view title 332. I don't think I can put any um, slashes in that name so I'm just going to keep it just like so and I just understand that the three is over the 32 and then say save. So that saves as a family file. Then we can say load into project and close and if you have multiple projects open make sure the correct one is checked then say okay. Now that we're in this, I'm gonna go back to my sheet where I have my call out. I'm gonna click on this call out. And in this call out, I can say edit type and I can duplicate this call out to title line uh, 332 and say okay for 330 seconds labels. And then with the actual title, we were gonna drop that down and go to our 330 second title. Remember, we had just loaded that family in as we closed out of it. If you don't see this populate, you have to go to insert family, load, annotations, and find where you have that uh, family file saved. Okay, we have all of this other stuff that we can edit if we would like. So for example, we could change the actual label if we wanted to, let's say to like a red, um, just to see how that looks. And if we click off, we see the line is red. I don't know, that kind of bothers me. So I'm gonna go back in, edit type, change that back to a black. My point is that there's some other things you can do to modify these labels. I like how this label reads a lot better than the larger one uh, on my actual foundation detail here. All right, if you liked that video, don't forget to save and subscribe. Help me grow this channel. I'm looking to make more and more videos in the near future. Um, as I find that people have been liking the content on this channel, um, it's been motivating me to create more. So uh, hope you guys enjoy the video and see you soon.